Types of Fake Diamonds As diamond industry giant De Beers' slogan of the century so aptly puts it, diamonds are forever. It's more than marketing genius. It's a testament to the very formation of the stones themselves. Over the course of billions of years, carbon deep under the Earth's surface is exposed to 2200 degree Fahrenheit temperatures and pressures of up to 725,000 pounds per square inch. You can't hurry nature's perfection. Or can you? Diamond simulants are certainly not as old as real diamonds, but they've been around the block. However, in recent years, the market has seen the introduction of synthetic diamonds. When you are purchasing a diamond, what do you need to know about real versus fake diamonds? First off, when it comes to diamonds, fake and synthetic are not synonymous. Fake diamonds are, well, fake. They have a completely different chemical composition than mined or natural diamonds. Here's where it can get a bit confusing. Simulants, faux diamonds, and imitation diamonds can either be natural or synthetic. That is, they're either a real stone masquerading as a diamond or a fake stone hoping to pass muster. Let's look at some real stones that often masquerade as diamonds. White sapphire. This is a natural stone that, while not as hard as a diamond, is still one of the hardest minerals in the world. It can be a good substitute for a diamond in a ring, especially as the price point is much lower. However, white sapphire can look cloudy and it has a lower refractive index and fire. This means it can lack sparkle compared to diamonds. Frequent cleaning is a must, or your white sapphire could end up looking like smudged glass. Zircon. This is not cubic zirconia. Rather, it is a natural substance. White zircon can be cut and polished to fit into jewelry, but it quickly shows wear, and it is nowhere near as hard as a diamond, or as a white sapphire for that matter. White spinel. White spinel is colorless and therefore sometimes used as a diamond substitute. It scores a 7.5 to 8 on the most scale measure of hardness. By contrast, a diamond scores a 10. While it's not a diamond, spinel is by no means a poor stone. In fact, red versions are substitutes for rubies and black and pink versions make for unique pieces when integrated into jewelry. Now let's look at some of the more popular synthetic fakes. Moissanite. This diamond substitute is very hard and produces great sparkle when exposed to light. It also has good clarity and durability. Moissanite is a real mineral, so why do we consider this as a synthetic fake? Because of its rarity, this stone is artificially produced in labs. This is probably the best non-diamond simulated or faux option. Cubic Zirconia This is one of the most common diamond substitutes, and you'll see it in pieces available everywhere, from box stores to Amazon. Cubic Zirconia, or CZ, has an 8 to 8.5 Mohs rating, but it shows wear. After time, it often becomes scratched and dull. And lastly, there's glass. Glass is cheap and easy to obtain, but it simply doesn't have the shine or sparkle of diamonds. Really, there is nothing wrong with these fakes, if you know what you are getting and you are paying the appropriate price. Now, onto the subject of synthetic diamonds. Science is truly a wondrous thing. Today, scientists can grow diamonds in labs. Known as synthetic diamonds, they have the same chemical composition as mined diamonds. To the naked eye, they are indistinguishable from natural diamonds. So yes, they are real. The difference between mined diamonds and synthetics is in the timeline. As mentioned, a mined diamond takes billions of years to form. A lab can expose carbon atoms to pressure temperatures in chambers that are designed to mimic the conditions under the Earth's surface. In just weeks, they can produce several diamonds. The results are stones that look and feel like diamonds. They are hard, colorless, and they can be cut as a diamond is cut. A layman will not be able to discern any difference with the naked eye. Even experienced geologists frequently have difficulty. And yet, even if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's still a synthetic. It takes a trained eye to spot one. The biggest difference between a mined and a synthetic diamond is the lack of inclusions. 
Mine diamonds always have inclusions, or small imperfections. These are often referred to as the diamond's birthmarks. As with diamond simulants, there's nothing wrong with synthetic diamonds per se. However, when you work with a diamond supplier or jeweler, you need to know exactly what you are buying. Synthetics do not have the same value, either initial or enduring, as mine diamonds. Synthetics can be beautiful, and they are chemically real. They're just not natural. When it comes to the pieces that matter, engagement rings, wedding bands, anniversary gifts, natural diamonds deliver the sentiment and value you want. Ready to make a natural diamond purchase? Contact Kay Rosengart, a reputable diamond supplier and custom jewelry designer who conducts the appropriate testing to ensure you are getting the quality and truth you deserve when buying diamonds and diamond jewelry.